Ashang, good morning and welcome to this uh, conversation. Uh, I don't need to, you know, give too much about Ashang, uh, the co-founder of Mastec. Uh, my very first boss at Mastec, 17 plus years I've worked with Ashang, uh, the, the, the one of the founder members of Nascom uh, and uh, somebody who has seen the Indian IT industry, uh, you know, right from the very small beginnings. Uh, to where it is today, you know, so uh, it's a great pleasure and uh, with Ashank, it's been such a lovely journey personally for me. That's why one of the first persons I wanted to speak to uh, in the series that I'm doing is uh, Ashank. And you have always inspired me and uh, working with you has been such a great fun. You know, it's always a learning, a lot of the values that I today carry, the way I'm, the way I have shaped up is largely because of you, Ashank, and because of Mastec and that values that Mastec, uh, you know, brought. Uh, and as we say in Mastec, once a Mastec here, always a Mastec here. For me, that is even more true. I continue to be the in the board of Mastec Foundation. So that, you know, as a co-founder of Mastec Foundation, I even remember those days when we started the Mastec Foundation yeah. together and uh, where it is today. So that that's a lifelong journey for me, you know, that Mastec is there in my blood and it continues to be, uh, you know, uh, I always feel proud to be a part of this. Uh, it is great to be with you, Sanjay. As you said, you know each other for very really many years. I still remember your interview that I did in SDF 4. Yeah, yeah. I still remember that day. So it has been great to have you with us because, you know, I call very few people also in Mastek as two Mastek here because they practice the values, they are sincere, they are. You know, all the good things that we talk about in master they exemplify that so you are one of that and more over you were loyal to the company for so long and beyond anything else contributed apart from just being a communication and PR and all that you took initiative in foundation you took initiative in many other things that we did so it has been great to be with you and I am very happy that you are doing something interesting now. And I'm sure we all wish you a great success. So Ashank, this first question that I have is, and I know these stories, but I want to share with the world. Uh, the story behind Mastec, how did Mastec happen? So it's interesting. It starts in a business school before anything else at IIM Ahmedabad, uh, where, you know, I was studying and other colleagues, I'll talk about them soon. We were all together there. And that's where the beginning is. So what used to happen is I was at IIM with a little bit of experience compared to other freshies as we call them. So I was kind of trying to, you know, show that I know quite a few things better than others. So when there was a group of project people to be formed uh, for some project in production engineering, I took everyone who didn't have any experience and commerce graduates and said, okay, we can do it together. If I'm there, I'll kind of make it happen. <laughs> Just to enthusiasm. And Ketan Mehta was one of that group. And he was in my division also. So from there, friendship grew together. And uh, it continued. And then he said, okay, we don't want to do something. Job, which you'll all get, we'll do something different. So Ketan was also part of that thought and then we came together. Then Ketan said, look, why don't we get some two more people? And you know, we have a concept of Dom. Dom is hostels. So he says, I have two guys in hostel, you know, they look very good to me. I want to call them. So let's form a group. So we formed a group of four people. Sundar is one of them. And then there was another person called Vasan. So that way a group of four formed during IIM. And we decided we'll start a so independent company and it so happened that we were looking at software as the most possible thing mind you software nobody knew what was it software was not an independent industry it was given by hardware guys free of cost as i say now we give it other way uh, but that was the kind of thing so we did come together we did a lot of projects together uh, you know, what is called a, a ppid is to be called we've been starting a venture so we did project on IT industry. We met many people in Delhi. I still remember traveling in third class from Ahmedabad to Mumbai, uh, Delhi, 
and traveling back without reservation with Watson and my other Sundar and all that. So those were the times, but then we didn't leave it like that. We came to Mumbai and decided to stay together. And that was very key. I had a job in hand because I had gone from Godrej. And Godrej had called me back. He wanted me back in the company. And uh, I got a house as a part of Godrej. So we stayed together and we kept on discussing late evening after we came from the job. So Sundar had joined HCL to get IT experience. Ethan had joined no sale. Vasan was also working in IBM. So we started debating, discussing, and that's the foundation. Uh, <clears throat> Vasan, of course, left. He was not keen on joining. He had some other things. So he went to US. And uh, that's the way Mastec started. Uh, started, started. That was in 82. But many things happened after that, as you know. We had a customer in Rediffusion and Sudhakar was our customer and Sudhakar said he wanted to join us. So he joined us in 84, 85. So that we became a group of four. So I'll stop here because there are a lot of other things. But yeah, yeah. So and how did this name Mastec come about? You know, how what's the story behind that name? Uh, Correct. That's a that's an interesting and good question. See, we were from management school and those early days IT was used by the way only for doing data processing. You do payroll, you do financial accounting, give it your data to some data processing agency, they will print and give it back. That's all IT was. We were kind of saying, no, IT should be solving management problems. Now, it sounds obvious now after 38 years or 40 years, but at that time, it was far ahead of its time. And we said, we will build management solutions because we were from a management background. So we knew what is the business problem we will build. So management and software department. So that was the name of Mastec. But it was too long. So when we went public, we shortened it and made it Mastec. So management and software technology. That is Mastec for you. Excellent. Tell us some stories. And I know these stories. You have shared it with me. I've even traveled with you. I remember traveling with you we made that film i think it was the 25th year of mastec where we went to uh, ghatkopar house and then we went to uh, uh, that uh, prabhadevi office nariman point you know all those places i've traveled with you personally but tell us some interesting stories of the early days of mastec what was it like at that time some interesting stories that you can share so early days, what happened was when my house was, of course, all of them were staying together. But then what happened was I got married and they had to shift out to Ghatkopar. Ethan took that place and Sundar was also staying with me. So that was really that way a birthplace. I have taken you also. And the resident there now was mightily <laughs> proud as you came running to see that master started there. So that was a house. We had no money. We had no telephone. Telephone is to take 10 years, by the way. <laughs> Today you get it in 10 seconds. But uh, we were using the uh, shared telephone booth that used to be there that time. In fact, first time we used it from a shop of a dweller. He said, pay me some money. And then we realized yeah, I'm getting more call than yes. So he says, but why go out? So those were the early days where there was no infrastructure and we were trying to get business. But we were kind enough, uh, lucky enough to get a job from what is now called Procter in them. They gave us a job to do their production planning and what is then called MRP. And mind you, it is to be done not on an IT. There was no personal computer. We had a computer in the lab, HP computer. And they said, do on this. So C language had just come that time. And uh, Vasan particularly was a kind of programming buff, buff. And Sundar was also there. So they started working and I was doing from the business side understanding. And we built a really far ahead kind of system that time by using what is called as operations research. I will not explain it here. 
there is a pro, uh, problem called traveling salesman problem we had studied in iims and iits we applied that to solve problem of procter and gamble which was called richardson in instan that time they were making many products and they did not know how to schedule them because they had some problem of using same machines and in the they used to make wicks and the other things at the when there was a rainy season and all that anyway they liked it so much our solution they gave us a bonus and that was the beginning of master because they we realized that we could do some very complex solutions management and software technology was not idea it was actuality we delivered a solution to a multinational company and they gave us a bonus and that was the beginning from there on there was no looking back we were getting all multinational companies were using it that time so we got boots we got city bank we got american express and so on <coughs> we were getting larger so we said we should create a good image so we said we should have office not in ghatkopar but nariman park so we took one cabin <laughs> 25 square feet cabin i think and there were four tables there and there were three tables and one secretary so we used to do musical table <laughs> by sitting whenever we were not there somebody else would sit from there we went to prabha devi when we keep slightly larger and then came to seeds by 86 87 uh, some interesting thing happened uh, there was a data quest magazine who was doing analysis of it companies and i said i'll send a data about mastex revenue i said let us see what happened and you would be surprised sanjay we were among top 10 domestic software companies in 7 years so he said oh we have arrived <laughs> so that was a ha ha feeling all of us were enjoying we enjoyed that day i showed all of them see we are among top 7 or 8 companies in the country so that was a good feel hard work difficult time we in fact think thought of even selling company during that period to somebody but we decided not to do it we were wondering why are we doing all this we are traveling in second class from ghatkopar when my colleagues and i am were going in flight their families were enjoying foreign holidays and we were doing this we said we should stop all this because we were making losses every year and padma used to say jokingly that why you are doing business more business you make more losses you will make so better not to make losses you know so the point i am making is those were very interesting days on the lighter side also i tell this story <laughs> that my mother never knew what business we were in she says if you show me software i couldn't show her <laughs> and then i used to show her hardware or a floppy disk so she says what is this and then we used to talk at night time to our customers abroad so she was convinced we are in some shady business whose products as not can't be shown and has to be done at night time <laughs> so those were the interesting times but to cut the story short yeah after 5 6 years we felt we are we are there there's very uh, one important thing that i have realized about mastic when i said once a mastic here always a mastic here that essence of mastic what we see as the values you know which i have seen over the years how did those values come about what happened you as a you know founder of the company how did these things got inculcated where today anybody who has worked at mastic at any point of time and i even remember that we had done once a research with the investors i remember that and uh, you know you remember i don't know if you remember that where they told us that one thing that we know about mastic is a highly ethical uh, 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 you know organize they put us absolutely at the top of all the it companies kind of a thing in that uh, research that we had done uh, speaking to investors so these values of mastic how did they you know actually and how what is the importance of values uh, for an organization question actually i would summarize it in one sentence sanjay 38 years have passed it is very unfortunate that we lost sudhakar it is a great irreparable loss to us as a team we lived together we laughed together we fought together our families spent time together uh, so that was a great loss but 
that is irreparable as i say but for 38 years we had together that has happened for only one reason only one reason we shared values all of us had same values and when you have such a congruence you may differ on certain business decisions you may be somebody may be good in marketing somebody good in development it's all okay everyone is not same but on that you come together that was the reason that you asked me why master had those strong values because all four of us subscribe to those values and whether he meets me or sudhakar or sundar or keetan they will get same answers in fact some of the programmers used to go to different people and ask you know various things but they would get a same response because we never discussed it we knew what it was to be a good company we knew what it means to be a ethical company we knew what it means to be good to people we knew what it means to be good to the customers we have taken projects as sanjay you know where we have made losses we knew we are making losses but still we have not left the customer we have argued to raise fees but they have not agreed but we have completed and went away so many projects some employees have difficulties we have supported them we have not told them to leave or same thing is with the shareholders and so on so the values of master came from these common values that all of us inherited and how did they come probably it is all of our backgrounds that you know middle class in fact sometimes lower middle class but high values you know? uh, and of course it is beyond that also that we had some vision and philosophies in life as what organization we should build and i think we agreed on that if that was not there in sanjay the group would have split long time back so i am i feel very proud that we have set an example to whole entrepreneurial community what it means to remain together and build company we went ups and downs and you know, we had a lot of difficulties as you know at different points of time but we never ever separated so that values come from there sir those values so you remember i don't know whether you were there in that meeting i was told by a group of uh, our management team why don't we have a value written down uh, what our values are so they said we should have a consultant who can decide i said very simple i'll i'll write it down in 7 days and come back to you so oh, why is it so simple i said simple values is not about doing what you want to be values is what you are today when i get, get out of my cabin how do i behave my secretary how do i behave with my uh, you know uh, janitor how do i behave with my customer in your all that is values write it down these are values you don't have to make believe anything values is about being genuine about what you are so values reflect actually the founders i tell every founder today and i give that advice to all of them i say 10 years after when i look back i saw company exactly like us all our strengths and all our weaknesses were in the company so you have a role to play in values and i think that is all fantastic ashank uh, now let's get to the today you know now last one year we have seen the world has been you know completely turned upside down with this entire pandemic happening and now the second wave hitting india and you know things looking very uncertain once again how do you see the world because it's a little not on mastic now i'm just looking at a broader question to you as a leader who's dealing with so many customers how do you see the world today post this whatever has happened how is the world changed how do you see the future okay yeah so we never ever imagined in february 2020 what we are going to do with it as you all know and it has really turned things upside down in terms of how we want to conduct business of course there is a negative side of all this that we all know we have we have lost thousands and 
100,000 people all over the world and in India. We have people who had to migrate back to the uh, their native place, walking in sun, in night. It, is, it was a terrible story. We saw many people lost their jobs. So that is the negative side of it. And I hope that will come to an end very soon. Some of it has already come to an end, but some of it still exists. But I think we will pass that. Vaccines have come. The people are using all the safety things like masks and distancing, etc. But what has changed irrevocably is the impact of working at a distance and at working as if you are working physically. So the physical world has come very close to a digital virtual world. It's at a very high level, the impact of this COVID because people don't want to come close. And people were not moving as fast in that 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 paradigm for various reasons. We always like to meet people, we always like to talk to people. And there is no substitute at one level to physical connection. But we were forced to work at a distance. And that created the whole new way of work, whole new way of selling, whole new way of conferencing that you are doing with me right now. I'm sure you have come my home and took camera team that you have. But you, you don't want to do it or you can't do it. So the whole world has changed the way it is working to bring virtual and physical close to each other. My quick answer to that. Yeah. And uh, how is mass tech now shaping up for this future? I mean, uh, how do you see the mass tech's vision going ahead with this changed scenario? Yeah, so Mastech, as you know, Mastech is management and software technology. To go back to what you asked me, it's about building solutions. And we did it so much that even in Y2K period, we did not do Y2K. We were that time busy building e commerce solutions, which is very common now. But that time it was well. And CRM, nobody knew that. We built London congestion charging, which is way ahead of its time. We had built a mobile payment system in 18 years ago. We built NHS software for spine, largest data warehouse, data warehouse of healthcare in the world. So solutions is our key. In fact, the mayor of London came and I remember said that. so nice things about us. I was there. Yeah. Yeah. He said, uh, you have done so nice work. I was worried that you will not deliver. <laughs> he said, thanks. I said, no need of thanks. But he said, yeah, because I, I believe I would have lost my job if you had not done that. So those are the things which bring juices out of Master. And digital is exactly about that, Sanjay. Digital is about converting the dreams of companies, dreams of individuals into reality by providing a solution which makes them work virtually and at deliver the results that they want to do. Customer experience, customer service, uh, improving efficiency. So Mastec is well poised for this new digital era. And four or five years ago, I did a presentation to board saying we should move fast on digital. I'm very happy to tell you today, 80 to 90% of our business is closely digital compared to many others who still have a legacy business, which is maintenance and a little bit of, you know, uh, outsourcing kind of business. So Mastech is well poised today for tomorrow's world, which is well reflected in our results. If you are seeing over last yeah. three, four years, we are growing much faster than others. Uh, and everybody is looking at Mastech to build those solutions. Uh, and we have now company which we acquired in the cloud area. So we are well poised for this tomorrow's world because of our legacy, not because we have suddenly found it out. We have been doing it last 25 years, management and software technology. You have stayed true to your the initial why you yeah. started Mastech uh, in this. 
correct even if majesco if you look at if you know the story of majesco yeah yeah this store was built by us over 20 years we put 200 million dollars in terms of acquisition r&d in the company it was separated it was the first product company in the country to get listed outside india product company yeah not service product company first in nasdaq and it was first success of an indian company being top 3 in us it's easy to sell product in developing country not in us it's an for giving we proved we can do it that is again another proud moment which is not mastek in name it is mastek it is mastek yeah. has built it yeah it, it was <laughs> you know you are yeah. there yeah. yeah. so mastek has always been i've seen that you know it's always walked a very different path than the entire it industry which was going in one direction and mastek was always from the beginning and i have seen and but it's always been that you know running its own path and as you said the first word mastek management software technology starts from there yeah. and you have stayed very true to that uh, journey even now as you are saying in the future also absolutely we build one of the first application product in 1985 yeah financial accounting uh and yesterday i met one investment banker senior fellow he says i remember mastek for your stock broking package called strack it was started in 86 87 and he has used it he says it was so nice to use it at that point of time so that is the legacy that we have created sanjay that you can build solutions you can make difference to people and citizens to using it absolutely beautiful and uh, now just one question for the y- young people who are wanting to start off their own business or they just started off into a becoming an entrepreneur your journey what is the key lessons or key messages that you would like to share with any youngster who's starting his own uh, enterprise or venture or who wants to you know for get on this journey what would be your key messages to those uh, people so i say uh, you know building a company is building like a building <laughs> you build one big ar- uh, architectural wonder or even a simple house you need three things first you need foundation obviously without foundation you can't build anything so foundation is values foundation is how you conduct your business foundation is about how you relate to your stakeholders it is about ethics it is about being very true to what you are if you don't have values and you don't leave them throughout you will not succeed so a big foundation business collapse so we have seen many other good quality entrepreneurs but they didn't have that foundation we had that foundation four of us together as i told you to remain and master was like that so we values so first we if you have to be victorious we need three we's first we is values or a foundation but just foundation is not enough just values is not enough we are not non profit we are for profit businesses then you need to have a large vision second we you need to dream to make difference to society difference to customers that's the way you can think large think big and then come to implement it so if you are just having vision values and no vision you will become just a non profit and with nothing wrong with it but it is that if you are in business you need a vision the second which we we a part is the top floor if you don't have a top floor if you don't have a nice viewing gallery house doesn't look good the third we is the muscle the spine of the business and i call it vitality v that is about how you run your business the energy that you have the motivation that you create in people the systems processes that you have the finer details of quality that you imbibe you know those are foundation uh foundation not in the sense of foundation but those are your hands as i call them so i have seen many companies who have good vision good values but don't execute 
they don't deliver so execution is the key to make actual reality on the ground so three v's values vision and vital foundation top floor and the middle floor are had that is the message for us so ashank uh, you know uh, thank you for sharing this very beautiful uh, thought Uh, about how you know this three Vs is something that I think uh, uh, I have seen them being working with uh, uh, in Mastech, but that vision, that uh, values, and that you know that thing that you bring in, not just the foundation, the middle floor, and the top floor. A nice way of describing. Uh, and the other thing is, I think uh, for Mastech also, as you shared, staying true to its calling right through. You know, it is it is not wavered. I think there were times when there were you know you could have. Said a easier way. Y two K, for example, you said, you know, when Y two K happened, and I was there that time. So, not moving that direction, but staying true to its calling, despite of whatever is happening. Uh, uh, you know, so it is, uh, you know, such a, uh, it's such an important message that I think this is what we can send out to anybody who is starting their journey now. And thanks for being there with me and sharing this. Uh, Uh, thing with me on this, uh, you know, this podcast that I'm doing. Uh, always, it's been a pleasure to always interact with you, all these years working with you, and still continue to work with you in the uh, Mastech, uh, you know, foundation. I think that there's got a lot of learning for anybody who is uh, going to be watching this. Any last words, Ashan, from your side? Yeah. So I have been very lucky, Sanjay, to have people like you and many other Mastech years. who came and made difference and stayed with us some of them are still with us i think you and all your other colleagues that i can't name each one of them there are hundreds and thousands of them as you know but some key people like you and many others is one who made the difference to master and to me personally i looked at you guys as 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 the energy behind that vitality then of course the foundation the values and my founder colleagues are the energy that remain glue together and as i said again it was so sad that i lost and we lost to dr i wish he was there today we would have felt so nice feel better and whenever i talk on mastek i can't we may not to think about it but it's great that ketan and sundar we all together are but so that is second. third is of course people uh, family has been very kind my wife my children they all worked with me and my mother who brought me up when i was lost my father at two years that is the glue that took me all together so i thank all these stakeholders and of course as usual to masticers and customers and investors who made us what we are today and thanks for your nice series i wish it a great success you are always been doing some cutting edge something different and something which has a conscience behind it you do something with something which has a softer element behind it you are not doing something just to earn money money you must earn You have some art behind your business, so I wish you a success. Thank you, Ashan.